The power of social media has been seen around the world with street protests and the change of governments from Egypt to Iran. Now it's being used in Thailand to try and topple the current government. The Wall Street Journal's Ramian Asensio has more. Thailand torn in two by political protests. The second time in three years. And polarizing voices are using social media platforms like these to turn this traditional Buddhist kingdom into a nation of pro and anti government factions. On the one hand, it's uh, create a lot of opportunity for uh, people who never really been active into politics and they can share more information. But on the other hand, they also tear the society apart. In this year's protests, experts say Facebook has been the most influential social site. Facebook is very flexible and it can be used for a lot of things. It's used to disseminate and share information. It could be used to um, organize activities and mobilize support. That should come as no surprise. Thailand's capital, Bangkok, was Facebook's biggest world capital hub with some 18 million users, beating Jakarta, Istanbul and London for the 2013 top spot according to Social Bakers, a social ranking site. And Thailand's political elite are themselves some of Facebook's biggest stars in the country. Yingluck Shinawat, the embattled prime minister, has more than 1.3 million likes. Her brother Thaksin, in self-imposed foreign exile since 2008 because of corruption charges, has even more. And Apisit Wejajiwa, the opposition Democrat leader and premier just before Yingluck, tops both on Facebook. But it's Instagram that's been Thailand's number one social media protest platform this year. Thais uploaded some 70 million photos to the photo sharing app in 2013, says Thailand's social rank. And in the past month, protesters haven't been the only ones who've been taking selfies on the streets. Quite a number of celebrities have used Instagram. A singer by the name of Tono, uh, who is very famous, and he's been joining the rally from the start. You also see this um, veteran actress, Asim Jai Hong Thai, who is very politically active. These idols have become political influencers. But while social media sites help make it easier to find allies, they also make it easier to shut out those who think differently. So while we usually use Facebook to friend and Twitter to follow, there's a new Thai trend happening right now. A lot of people are unfriending each other because of different political standpoints. It affects the, um, the real life um, relationship too. If they have to socialize in, in, in real space, like if they're colleagues, you know, they start shunning each other. And for Thai society, known for its politeness and respect, this is a thorn that could grow if the nation becomes even more polarized in the future. Just this week, Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat did alleviate some of the political tension by calling for new government elections next February. But her party, which holds majority support across the country, could return to power. And for Ying Lak herself... There is a, a really strong tendency that she will be back because her uh, existing policy platform is really in favor of uh, the political base outside Bangkok. If that holds true, then Thailand and the world may see scenes like this again in the new year, as frustrated or angry people mobilize to the streets using social media more than ever.